Hi, I'm Bob Batcher, Executive Director of Prime Plus Senior Centers, and this is Prime Time with Bob. And I'm actually with two old friends, guys that I met uh, in my journey with Norfolk Perspectives when I was with the city doing television there. And Joe and Bob would always come on and just totally enlighten me on life. And so, uh, Bob Walsh, how are you, how you doing, sir? I'm doing great, Bob. Yeah, I'm doing good too. My hey, Joe, you doing good? Now, now, Joe, the last time you and I talked, you were kind of um, in transition, I guess you could say. Um, uh, some consequences of some bad decisions and whatever, but you learned from them and you've retired. Bob, you've retired, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm living the clean life now. There you go. So <laughs> you're not too tired then. Oh, no. Too tired. no. I'm ready to go, you know. So what have you guys been up to for the last uh, couple of years? Oh, my goodness. Well, uh, uh, Don took me to South Africa. Oh, Cape wow. Town. Yeah. We did some uh, puppet shows down there for the men's rehab. And then we went to a safe place for kids and uh, went to a church. And we did a couple of charities through the Hannah Charity down there. Now, did yeah. I see you, and I saw you running around the Great Wall of China? Oh, uh, that was before that. That was uh, when I was living the old life. Oh, hence the running around. I, yeah, on the next con, uh, and uh, I had escaped there for a while, and uh, I went to the Great Wall of China, but Dodd came out there and extradited me back here to North Oak. Yeah. Then go. I got my life straight, and... I thought I had COVID and they did too, so they let me out. Oh, there you go. Now, yeah. okay, so you do, let me ask you, um, you don't get more than me, what, a foot and a half away from Bob, so how have you been doing the social distancing thing? Well, I, I got this face shield at uh, Ollie's, you know? I was gonna say, I saw, you're looking good behind that shield. Yeah, yeah, five ninety nine. You know, uh, I don't get paid for saying that. But that's where I got the. That's where I got the face shield, and uh, I got the mask here, uh, and I wear that while I'm in in Walmart and you know food line and stuff like that. And uh, they say you should wear both. That's right. Well, uh, when I do my summer ventriloquist programs for the kids, uh, I I wear the mask like this when I'm going in and of course he has his mask on you know but once we get inside and we're six feet away from the kids and social distance and everything's set up I take my mask off he takes his mask off and I borrow his face shield because uh well you want to tell him why Joe because the ventriloquists like to be able to breathe <laughs> it's kind of hard it's kind of hard to do a 30 minute show when you can't breathe and you're going <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, so he learns, actually learns the mass. There you go. Bob, let me talk to you for a couple of minutes. Um, you've been doing this for a long time, haven't you? Yes. Tra traveling with uh, buddies? Yeah, we've got... You don't use the word dummies, right? We No, uh, mannequin Americans. <laughs> the mannequin, I knew, I knew it was really a, a catchy name. Um, <laughs> but you've always found, through entertainment, getting a good message across, right? We always try to have humor and present it in a message-oriented way of some sort. You know, whether it's in uh, character education or safety or seniors. Uh, last year, we went to the Tucker House a couple times, and the seniors there on West uh, Little Creek, they mm -hmm. loved it. But then this COVID thing came, and so we haven't been able to get back. Okay. But well, when I first met you, you were Deputy Bob. You were part of the Sheriff's Department and doing... Uh, uh, programs in there. But prior to that, you guys were in the military together, which is when Joe got in trouble, right? Uh, yeah, I was a, a Marine. But you weren't supposed to say that because Marines don't get in trouble. They, the, the, see, the, Unless they the, hang out with those Navy guys. The Marines were looking for a few good men and uh, they laid their Heitler car and, that, and that's how I got in because I'm only 40 <laughs> inches tall. I was say. <laughs> and, and I used legs, right? Fatigues, you know. I did, actually. I, I could send you a picture. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm, I'm dressed for Zoom. I got shorts on. What do you have on? Uh, actually, I'm dressed up to school. Ah. Except, yeah. I got, I got, see, I got shoes and pants and, That's yeah. gotta hurt to do yeah. that. Yeah. Um, what are you guys doing? Okay, you said that you uh, 
work with seniors. And I know Prime Plus has been down for COVID, but we're in the, pro we got some exciting developments taking place. We're looking at opening safely. Oh, and I like that. Is to be safe, right? Yeah, that's right. You got to do that. Yeah. So what do you, how do you encourage people to stay safe and yet stay connected? Well, eat a lot of ice cream. There you go. <laughs> but, you know, I, uh, that's what I did. No, no, <laughs> that's not what Bob's talking about. Well, that's what I did during COVID. I, I got the COVID five. I gained five pounds. So yeah, I know it. Well, okay, ate a lot of ice cream. It's really driving me nuts not to hug and to be able to contact people. But, you know, Joe, you'd be an expert at this because you're used to living in a box, right? That's, that's true. Well, what I did, I did a lot of reading, Bob, and uh, I started walking, and uh, I, I developed a new hobby called bicycling around the neighborhood. Yeah, and uh, I uh, eat a lot of ice cream, too. It's you already nice. said that. I know that I like to eat it a couple times a day. It's really good. It, it gets a I, I get to thrust staying inside, so the ice cream makes me feel good. There you go. Now... Do I understand that your family that you live with got some dogs too, huh? Oh, that's true. We so do have do, they, dogs. do you walk them or do they walk you? Uh, we got a German Shepherd and she pulls everybody. She's like a, a pack horse. <laughs> yeah. So are you trying? Are you trying to meet some new friends during this whole COVID time? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to. Uh, I uh, I visited some kids at St. Peter's School this summer and uh, uh, we talked about. You know, that old favorite topic, bullying. There you go. Around. Yeah, that was around when we were on the TV with Bob about yeah. seven, eight years ago. Yeah, it's still around. Yeah. And uh, we talked to the kids about uh, looking at the heart, not the outward appearance. It doesn't matter your skin color. It matters on your heart. Yeah, and the kids liked it. And that's an important message for, for us seniors, too. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Not that you'll ever be a senior. <laughs> well, I'm not too far behind you and Bob. <laughs> so, so what? What is? How, yeah, if you get creaky in the elbow, what's it feel like? I can't hear you. What? What's it? When you get creaky in the elbow, what's it feel like? Uh, uh, what? <laughs> how about that back pain? Do you have back pain? Hey, Joe, maybe, maybe, let me take this shield off. Maybe maybe it's affecting your hearing. There you go. Uh, I, think I, I think it's aging is affecting my hearing. <laughs> I know the feeling. Bob's wife, Bob's wife says I have selective memory. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. I've heard that <laughs> myself. Yeah. I, I can have selective hearing, too. Yeah, he's got a little hearing aid in it, and I need to get one of those little things and stick it in my ear. <laughs> so, Bob, what kind of plans do you have for the future? Because uh, there is going to be a future in spite of what we might think. What kinds of well, things do you have uh, up your sleeve? Well, we're kind of uh, evolving our, ourselves as our little act, and uh, Bob and I started doing some uh, home videos in our den uh, during this COVID thing because we really enjoy talking to people and Get them uh, entertainment and a message, and uh, you know, just that's kind of life, you know, being alive. And uh, and now this Zoom thing, this is actually only the second time I've been on Zoom. Really? No, I've think? been on a lot. That that this that this is only my second. So what do you think of it? I think it's kind of neat. Now, it's you... a good alternative, you know. I know. Yeah. And it wasn't that hard to do, was it? No, no, it wasn't. You know, one of the things that we are trying to reach out to seniors about using technology to stay connected, and a lot of seniors, they don't, they got, they might have a laptop that their uh, grandson gave them, but they don't use it. So we need to get people to pass the word how easy it is and maybe work with that senior friend about getting them signed onto their computer so they can reach out like this. What do you think of that idea? I think that's a great idea. You know, Bob didn't learn the internet until he was 50. Really? <laughs> well, All these young folks, they learn it in kindergarten, you know? You got it. And for a lot of us, we use it in work. And so yeah. it's really easy to, to adapt. But if you're post-career and you're not using emails and that, you got to think it through. So be patient. Yeah. So, so if you're going to buy your, if you're going to buy your grandmother a computer, work with her on it. So she knows how to set it up. Right. That, that's true. Uh, be very patient too, you know, cause yeah. you know, it's kind of a new thing, you know, 
when we get older, uh, as Dodd says, uh, we get set in our ways. And so you got to be flexible and just, you know, trial and error, you know, eventually it'll sink in, you know. <laughs> you know, with Prime Plus, we do a lot of chair exercises. That yeah. sounds like it'd be right down your alley, Joe. I do a lot of exercising too. I took my spoon in the ice cream and I, I put it all the way up to my mouth. You know, Joe, I hate to break the news to you. There's going to be, remember when you were in CR and you talked about consequences and redemption and all that? Oh, yeah. That's ice, right. cream can, ice cream can lead you down that path. Uh, Bob talked to you about that? Uh, no, he didn't. Yeah. Because, you know, sometimes. Well, he, eats, he eats ice cream too. <laughs> he ate one. <laughs> That <laughs> so, <laughs> at least I'm being transparent. Well, I eat sure. ice cream, but Bob saying that you have to balance it. Don't eat it three times a day. <laughs> That's right. You know, when we can go through a box of okay, do the math. Buy a box of fudge sickles. There's 12 of them in there, and they only last for four days. Well, uh, uh, eighth, or with that? eighth or knee and fourth of dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So you got to be careful because we got to stay healthy during uh, during our COVID time. Well, the reason I don't want you to think I'm selfish, the reason I take a couple more out of that 12 pack is because the dogs want some. Oh, I, that's so nice. Do they, they, like they get it? They like. They want it. Do they get it? Oh yeah. Sometimes they take the whole thing. I won't give it back. You know, you you said you just now discovered. Uh, can I can I give you a challenge? Uh, Can you think of, Joe? Well, obviously, <laughs> uh, the two go together. It's a package deal, isn't it? Uh, can you think of five people that you could Zoom with and bring some joy into their life as a friend? Uh, uh, I don't know anybody that does Zoom besides you and uh, celebrate recovery. Yeah, I know. Well, there you go. See, already you're kind of thinking outside the box. Sorry, sorry about that, Robert. If, I, if I had five teeth of a head zoom, I surely would do it, though. I like that idea. Because I like this. Yeah, wouldn't that be cool? To yeah, it would be. To reach out and make that an afternoon. Is that I a like deal? That. I like that. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Okay. In That's close, a good idea. I also want to give you an invite to come on over to, to Prime Plus. Okay. And uh, take one of those chair exercise classes with us. What do you think? Well, I don't know. I got, I, I'm, I'm made out of wood, you know. Well, I know, but bring Bob with I'm, you. I'm really animated. Right. I'm like I a, bet you are. <laughs> I'm like a snail. <laughs> and they're really slow. <laughs> it has been great catching up with you guys. <laughs> um, and I'm looking forward to having you come on over to Prime Plus once we get opened up again. Oh, it sounds great. Is that a deal? That sounds good to me. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you what five people you Zoomed with. Oh, you got to give me the names because I don't have five people that have it. I, I bet you. We'll have people. I tell you what, people that are watching this, let us know if you got Zoom because you're doing it through Zoom. And we'll pass you on to buy. All right. That sounds like a, a, a connected. That's right. We'll do a connection on this. Thanks a lot, guys. Okay. See, thank you, Bob. We'll see you later. Okay. Super. Remember, stay safe. stay safe and stay connected. Thanks a lot.